Hello, welcome to this video and another hotel room harmonica lesson. I'm on tour and playing concerts and also spending lots of time in a hotel room. So I thought I'd just record a little harmonica lesson for you. And in this video, I will be using a chromatic harmonica 12 hole in the key of C. And uh, I will be teaching you an air training and navigation exercise that you can do on your instrument because those things are good to work on and important. I'm working on it still a lot. I, I love doing air training and those things to really find out what's happening. And uh, this is a two-step exercise. So first we are going to identify the note that we are on uh, and then we're going to play, to play the fifth of that note. So, how to do this? Um, yeah, it will be interesting. We will also learn a lot of music theory grammar by doing this exercise. So it's almost a free step. It's like identify uh, what is the note and then grammar what is the fifth and then play the fifth. So yeah, interesting and challenging. Uh, let's start. I will close my eyes and then play a note on my harmonica. And of course, I mean, I, I will, I will, I can decide if I press the slider or not, then I will limit the amount of notes I can play. It will either be C major or D flat or C sharp. Uh, I mean, it's not like a piano where you can close your eyes and just pray, press randomly any note. The harmonica has certain limitations, but I will close my eyes and play a note. La, that note. Now I will play hole one as my um, reference pitch. Again. And I will sing it. Lum. Now I will play that random note again. What's that one? So what is this note in relation to this one? I know this is a C because it's hole one blow. Then this, lam la, sounds like a perfect fourth. Uh, if you have trouble hearing it, you can jump down one octave because sometimes it's harder to hear over the octaves. It's easier to hear everything inside the same octave. So then I can do. That's the same random note, one octave down. So then it will be, this is my random note, and it's a perfect fourth, uh, which means it's a F, because C and then uh, the fourth to C is F, so it's C, D, E, F. That's the first step done. Uh, we played randomly the note F. Now we're gonna play the fifth of F. Uh, and a fifth is five step up from the note. So if we have F, G, A, we can say B flat, and then C will be the fifth uh, to do F because it's, the, it's five steps up. So, uh, and now we can be uh, a bit more accurate because we played in hole F is in hole 6 draw and where do we have a fifth to that note let's see now think think it's in hole 8 blow uh, the fifth to F is a C as I said earlier so a C you can find in hole 8 blow 9 blow and 8 draw with the button so you have three C's there so then we play our F then we play a fifth to that note. Now I played all the three C's. But this is round one. Now we made one, one round of this. Uh, let's do it again. I will close my eyes and play a random note. That one. Now we'll play my reference note, the C, the random note. Alright, how to find it? 
sing the reference. Lam, la, the random note, la, and then the reference, la. So in my voice, it's just like lam, la, 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 feels like a semitone. So then we can double check, we can move the random note down to octaves, so it's easier to hear. That's the random note, and now we play the reference. Alright, then I know this is a semitone above. I can hear that it's a semitone above the reference pitch. So C to C sharp. Our random note is a C sharp. Uh, and uh, how did I know this? Well, I know my music theory grammar that the semitone up from C is a C sharp or a D flat. And now, what is the fifth of C sharp? That's five steps up. So it's C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp to G sharp. Or we can think in flats, then it's D flat, E flat, F. G flat and A flat. So where do we fly in the G sharp A flat in on the harmonica? If you want to stick to the same register, that note will be be in hole 11 below uh, and button in will be the fifth. So uh, yeah, let's play the random note again. It was this one and the fifth yum. Yeah, yeah, sounds like that. Yeah, 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 fifth thumb. So we knew it will be in hole 11, is the G sharp. Lum, la, la. Another round completed. So you see, this this is an this air training exercise uh, navigation. It's it's not a speedy one. <laughs> it doesn't go. It's not fast. It's it's slow and lots of thinking. But that's good. I think I think air training is it's good to do it slow and really think about it and also think about over the grammar of the notes. But let's do one more. I will close my eyes and play a note. Yeah, that's my note. I will play my reference. Oh, and also, as you can hear, my one hole, the valve is sticking. Oh man, we are all have been there, <laughs> but that's okay for now. Uh, the random note. La, la, the reference. La, 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 R random reference. La, 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 da, 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 do, do, da, da, do. Sounds like a minor third. So a minor third to C is E flat or D sharp. So our random note is a E flat. Now let's think what is the fifth to E flat. Uh, it's five steps ups, ups, up. So it's E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat. So pa, la, lo. Should sound like that. Where do we find a B flat on our harmonica? We have a B flat in hole three draw with the button. We have a B flat. In hole 7 draw with the button and hole 11 draw with the button. So let's do the random, or now we know what it is, it's an E flat. La, play the fifth. La, la, la. That's one more round done. So this is the exercise, and uh, the thing to really remember here is really think about the grammar and think about what the name of the notes are and where they they are uh, before you play them. Because if you just play the E flat, and now I'm gonna find the fifth. Did 
there's a fifth, and that's one way of doing it, but it's also full of mistakes and searching, you know. Because you're not, that is the fifth. It's like, that is the fifth. I, I, it's better if it's, if you are spot on directly. That's also a part of the exercise, that you really know what you're doing and you're hearing it. And you know what the fifth is to the note, and you know where the fifth is, uh, the, the specific fifth. And the reason I choose fifths is because they are the most stable interval of them all. It's the most relaxing and calming interval, I think. It's more relaxing than a major third. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoy this exercise. It's a bit, uh, it's lots of thinking, <laughs> so don't rush it, but... Uh, Hope you enjoyed it and welcome to write me any questions if you have. Alright, bye bye.